Vision 78, 11 September 2023. By picture number one, I saw a huge fire. This was completely different. I could see there were people in the fire. It reminded me of the story in the Bible of Sodom and Gomorrah. By picture number two, just after that, I saw this huge explosion. That's all I saw. Then, by picture number three, this vision changed. God showed me lovely green vegetables growing and how it will be until there is nothing. The green glow of wormwood was all over. The day is coming when you will see what Daniel the prophet spoke about, the sacrilegious object that causes desecration standing in the holy place. Reader, pay attention. Then those in Judea must flee to the hills. A person out on the deck of a roof must not go down into the house to pack. A person out in the field must not return even to get a coat. How terrible it will be for pregnant women and for nursing mothers in those days. And pray that your flight will not be in winter or on the Sabbath, for there will be great anguish then at any time then at any time since the world began, and it will never be so great again. In fact, unless that time is calamity of calamity is shortened, not a single person will survive, but it will be shortened for the sake of God's chosen ones. Then if anyone tells you, look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, don't believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will rise up and perform great signs and wonders so as to de deceive, if possible, even God's chosen ones. See, I have warned you about this ahead of time. So if someone tells you, look, the Messiah is out in the desert, don't bother to go and look for, look, or look, he is hiding here. Don't believe it, for as the lightning flashes in the east and shines in the, in the west, so it will be when the Son of Man comes. Just as the gathering of vultures shows there is a carcass nearby, so these signs um, indicate that the end is near. And when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then you will know that the time of its destruction has arrived. Then those in Judea must flee to the hills, those in Jerusalem must get out, and those out in the country should not return to the city. For those days, for those will be the days of God's vengeance, and the prophetic words of the scriptures will be fulfilled. How terrible it will be for pregnant women and for nursing mothers in those days. For there will be disaster in the land and great anger against this, this people. They will be killed by the sword or sent away as captives to all the nations of the world. And Jerusalem will be trampled down by the Gentiles until the period of the Gentiles comes to an end.